that everybody that came to this game uh, was treated to one heck of a college soccer game. Uh, <clears throat> the University of Michigan, I thought they were uh, outstanding. Uh, wonderful game plan, fantastic execution. <clears throat> Very well coached team with uh, quality players all over the field. So uh, I think we all feel uh, fortunate to be able to, uh, to advance and um, Looking forward for the opportunity to go back to the College Cup and, um, and compete again with, uh, with uh, some more uh, really good teams. Um, I think when the NCAA draw came out, um, I, don't, I don't know that I knew enough about Michigan at that time. We don't typically play. We've never played them, but we don't play a whole lot of teams in their conference and don't get a chance to see them. But I'll tell you, I leave this game as a big fan. I thought they were a really good team, a good soccer playing team, um, and um, a most worthy opponent. Coach, in light of what they were able to accomplish, you know, keeping you off the board throughout the game like that, can you speak to, I guess, the quality of these three players that to put that chance there at the end, and under pressure like that in overtime, with every, you know, with so much at stake? Yeah, so I spoke about Michigan. I didn't really talk about our kids, do I? I probably <laughs> ought to do that a little bit. Yeah, is that what We've seen it all season. We've seen it since the start of preseason that our group is a resilient group. Uh, they're hardworking. They play hard for each other. Um, they're willing to uh, do what it's going to take to give us the best opportunity to find success. And uh, of course, uh, Jay had the big moment of uh, whipping a, a heck of a ball into the back post. Gabby, uh, of course, got on the back end of that and brought that back. And uh, Beata, as we've all seen through the course of the season, has a wonderful a timing and positioning and uh, put herself in a spot to uh, to give us the game winner at the, the most uh, crucial time. So I think that, uh, again, we saw um, the fortitude of the group, the, um, the willingness of them to play hard for each other and to make that moment happen. And we saw a lot of that through the course of the game. And uh, in the end, we uh, found a way to win in advance. And uh, that now we'll <coughs> and get a chance to go and um, uh, compete against another uh, really good team, I'm sure. We have to start with you. How did you see the play progressing, and did it feel like that ball was just kind of sitting there forever? The oh, end? yeah, really. I was actually waiting because that was a great serve from Jay, and um, like the head of Gabby was incredible. So I thought it might go in by itself, but I didn't want to risk it, so I just... I guess the goal for me was not to put it in, so. I guess for any of the players, just uh, obviously it's not a situation you haven't been in before, but a game like this with so much on the line and a couple of chances were so close earlier in the game. What did you kind of tell each other to kind of you know stay on plans, kind of stay, keep you know keep it going until you knew the goal eventually could come. I think you just have to shake it off so a play happens and then we move on to the next um, and then as a group we know we can make play happen so we knew it was coming at some point. I also think um, you know me stepping up missing that PK the only way uh, for me to keep my head in that game was my teammates and to help my teammates just lift me up and um, so it was big credit to the team and the composure that we have after a couple big chances at the beginning and then obviously the miss PK um, I think that this team is special just the way that we have with each other and play for each other, and uh, I just feel very fortunate to play with them. Gabby, yeah, I mean, did you put that ball where you wanted to, or were you just trying to keep it in bounds? What was? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what, yeah. No, actually, I really didn't mean to bring it back toward the center. Um, I knew there was players there. Yeah, they were there. Um, that wasn't really an angle for me to put it back in the goal. It was better for me to bring it back for someone else to put it in. Obviously not talking about done, but you know, going back to get the chance again after you know how things ended last May, how does that feel to get that you know, that opportunity again? Yeah, it's always an honor to get back to the Final Four, um, and we look forward to it. So, yeah, some uh, great games ahead. Coach, can you kind of maybe speak to your senior class and you know the accomplishment accomplishments that they've made? You know, three College Cups now. Yeah, I think that. Uh, of course, with Gabby and with Jalen and uh, Jana Mitchell as well, who will be leaving us, uh, made just fantastic contributions to our program. You know, the, the winning is really uh, the obvious part, right? I mean, everybody comes and sees the team being successful, having a chance to advance and compete for national championships. But 
I think all of these uh, three young women have contributed far uh, greater things to our program than simply being outstanding players. And you know, as uh, as all three will move on, it's time for them to go and have that next opportunity, that next challenge. And uh, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the next chapter for them is. They're, they're going to go, and all three of them will go, and they'll have a chance to play as pros and uh, uh, enjoy that next uh, phase of their their life and their career. And, you know, after the game, I grabbed Jalen for just a second, and I told her that you know a lot of players, if they miss a penalty, they tank. They go right in the tank, and um, you know they um, they can't bounce back. But I thought she did a great job of r raising the level again for herself and her teammates. And as she said, her teammates helping helping her to do that. Uh, but uh, very professional mentality, professional attitude. What they're going to find out. <coughs> including Beate, is things aren't always going to go well for you. Things aren't always going to go right. There's going to be obstacles in different parts of your life, inside and outside of soccer. But uh, being able to refocus and be resilient and uh, find a way to continue on uh, will be really important for them as they go on to the next chapter. And uh, for me, I'm just uh, feeling very I'm thrilled that we had the opportunity to have um, Jay and Gabby for as long as we have, and for G for this past year, that uh, they've made, come and made great contributions to our program off the field, um, on the field, in the community, in the classroom. Um, so, again, for me, for me I'm just uh, feeling lucky that uh, I've had this opportunity to work with them. Yeah, but, uh, you come here to, I assume, to have the opportunity to play in college cups, and you score the goal to, to get the team there. What is this moment like for you? Um, oh, uh, it's a big moment. I'm very happy to be here, uh, and I feel like it's probably what the whole team, and for me as well, that's why we're all here, to be in this situation, and it feels great. Uh, I'm very happy. Coach, um, with Yuji, um, how big of a lift, well, for everybody, how big of a lift was it to see her come back in the second half, you know, especially after, you know, kind of scary moment there in the first half? Yeah, I thought it was quite important. She's an important player on our team, and uh, to, to lose Yuji for the game, um, would have been challenging, right? Uh, that kid, she's put up with some stuff in the last couple of games, right? She got stitches in her head, now she has stitches in her leg. She's going to be thinking the Americans don't don't like her very much. But, uh, <coughs> but um, no, of course, she, she is a, a wonderfully talented player and um, so um, so important in the way that we play. Um, I know that when I got the word from the medical team that she'd be back and available to us, it was... Uh, um, yeah, it was a, a bit of a relief. And in saying that, um, I think we have a lot of other good players too that uh, would have stepped forward and would have done the job. But uh, uh, for our sake and for UG's sake, I'm glad that she's able to continue. Anything else? Once again, thank you all for being here. We do appreciate your support and covering our team and uh, these finances.